pilots, welcome back to Motion RC. This is the build video for the B24 Liberator from Flightline RC. The B24, one of World War II's finest bombers, is now finally available in the foam format and brought to you by the fine fellows at Flightline RC and Motion RC. This is 2000 millimeter in wingspan, which is 79 inches, 48 inches long, takes four 860 kV brushless outrunners, four 30 amp ESCs, and only two four cell batteries to power this baby for a good five to seven minutes, all depending on your throttle management. But before we fly it, we gotta build it, so let's go. The manual really lays it out quite well and I recommend following it to a T because the outcome will be a fantastic flying model that is ready to go and has been flight tested at least 200 times. Now check it out. Supercharger split flaps have reinforcement, nylon hinges, uh, very scale looking hubs everything you need to get it done and there's only 12 screws to the assembly here are the decal options that come stock and here are some more of the parts 12 screws gets it done guys there's the battery leads XT60s new pilots with crusher caps and pilot Ryan's favorite A2 flight jacket ample size battery hatch magnetically attached with a pin catch aft and a key in tongue at the front. Beautiful, look at that. Step one, salivate. Install the vertical stab. Grab your wire pull through tool, slip it through the horizontal stab from the middle out. Grab your wires for one side and pull them through. Do the same thing for the other side. This big plane and there's only 12 screws to the assembly. All the screws are the same except for the four that attach the wing to the fuse. Now secure with two screws on each side. One, two. Make sure it's nice and firm. It's on there good, no wiggling. Now prepare to attach the horizontal stabilizer. Grab your wire pull through tool, otherwise known as traction steel wire, or your go get em hook, whatever you want to call it. Grab them and get them through there. Here we go. Feed it through. Check out how this horizontal stab screws onto these hard points. It's a perfect fit. Make sure no wires are obstructing the fit. fit and Look at that, it's perfect. The prop assembly is next. One piece props, nine and a half by seven, three bladed props, counter rotating setup. Look at that dummy radial and the oil coolers on that elliptical cowl look so cool. Early versions had a perfectly round cowl and did not yet have the supercharger underneath. There's a lot of neat information on the V24 out there, gentlemen. So the prop assembly, each one will get a washer and a nice lightweight aluminum nut, righty-tighty, lefty-loosey. 
and then it's followed by a very scale looking hub that has a already dried on Loctite machine screw ready to sink it. Make sure when you're installing the props that you're rotating in the correct direction. Uh, tops of the props are going to rotate inboard towards the fuselage. Don't be alarmed if you got to give it a little pressure to make these click on and fit. They Once they're together, they're together and there's no screwing to the hubs other than attaching it to the prop shaft itself and of course the hub. Next is the main wing. Big spar on the front. You see the big opening in between those two standoffs there that receive the screws? That's where you're gonna feed your ribbon connector and your power harness setup. It's nice having plenty of room inside the fuselage to grab things and route things to where they go. The bullets are pre-soldered on the power leads and with the XT60 Y connectors for each inboard set and outboard set of motors, there's only one way to get it, and that's right. One battery will power inboard motors, the other battery will power the outboard motors regardless of anything you can do about it. The bullets are specific and only fit one way, so there's just no, they, they've done all your thinking for you on this super cool which is going to make it a real snap when you are one of the guys that has to take this apart to get it back and forth uh, side note i have a late 90s model van it's an astro van i don't even have to take this airplane apart to get it to the field here we go finally with the four big screws for the wings I like to cinch one side down first so when I attach the second side, I'm not pushing the first one out. There we go, start to really look like a plane. Now it's very easy to assemble the rotating Emerson turret J nose, source your materials, and follow along. plastic top case slides in and keys in right to the plastic base and fits securely and is easily removed later if you'd like to access the camera. The foam disc is keyed to fit only one way in the plastic and is glued in. It will sit flush right in that plastic cylinder and you're good to go. This goes the on the bottom here and then there's the tiller arm gets screwed in. And that will operate the turret and there's the servo to do so. And there's a channel to get the servo wire to your receiver. Now you have just left to glue on the bottom window of the J turret. I use hinge tape on mine because I want to be able to get back in there and get a servo in that baby. There it is. The J nose and the D nose greenhouse. Magnetically attached, both come stock in the box. Some assembly required, but it's worth it. Look at that. Perfectly designed to fit a camera, guys, and a servo to operate it. How cool is that? Now check out the manual for control rod lengths and also where to place your Z-bins. The ball links are already on the control horn, so really the rubber meets the road on where you put your, your Z-bins in the servos themselves. Split flaps, so cool. Follow the mix in the book prescribed for flap to elevator. 
There is one more moving turret right behind the pilots. Check it out. So now it's time to glue in the peripherals and pick out your color scheme. Kentucky Bell, Hell's a Dropping Two, and Witchcraft are just a few of the choices available. That's what comes stock in the box. At CaliGraphics.com, our friend has done lots and lots of schemes of this model and will do anything custom for you you'd like. Keep in mind, it's a 1 16th scale aircraft, which is good to know when you're ordering up custom decals. Take your time with the water slide decals. And enjoy. Look at that. Nice large tires for grass field operations. There is a lot more to come on this. This is the customizer's dream. As always, refer to the manual for center of gravity. We love the three inches. We're measuring ours right side up with the gear down. Flew at three inches and loved it. Flew the video at two and three quarters and loved it. Flew another time at three and a quarter and loved it. Um, but it really, the sweet spot is three inches for sure. Pilots, that concludes the build on the B-24 Liberator from Flightline RC, the world's first ever foam B-24. Don't forget to jump in the conversation at the Hobby Squawk Forum. Stay up to date on developments with this aircraft, when it's showing up, when more are showing up, and, and take a peek and see what guys are doing with theirs. This thing is really massive, easy to deal with and transport, a joy to fly, and just begging to be customized. It's just really touching to see how many of you are connected to this aircraft through family and relation. Tell us your stories. Keep them coming, guys. We'll, we'll never, ever tire of it. Thanks for letting us do what we do. And if you want to hear the host of the RC After Hours podcast, pick the brain of our guru designer, jump on board there, too. That podcast is fantastic where Alpha delves into what it takes, the reasoning, the logic, and the love of this RC aircraft thing that we all are just crazy about. Guys, as always, thanks for watching. This is your pilot, Ryan. We'll see you out at the field.